Have you ever faced an issue of trying to fit an object or certain object into a certain part in CorelDRAW and you want to attain that accuracy and um, precision but then um, you are finding it very difficult. More like wanting to fit this um, circle into this shape here, right? So um, making it to have a circular flow but you're not getting what you want. Well, um, if that you, I have a solution for you. So um, it's basically very easy. So we're using this circle as a case study. So you select this object, hold on shift, then you select this object or the part you want it to be fitted into. And once that is done, you head on to the menu bar, then you go to object. Under object, you come to this area where you have fit object to part, right? So once you do that, you have um. An interface here right so um, this shouldn't scare you so basically you're focusing on the most important thing so um, the duplicates how many of this black circle do you want to fit around this part so um, I'll go with let's say 10 so depending on your preference right and um, this should be kept the way it is this um, should be kept the way it is except you can decide to explore and this area here origin so it's asking you um, where do you want the rotation to start from do you want to start from the top left top right or um, top or the top um, center or whichever one or the bottom left bottom right so for this we we'll click um, at the middle origin then um auto with the follow pad then every other thing is okay and um, also the style too as well so um, you can decide to choose uniform progressive but then I will prefer to use none. And once you're done, you click on apply. And um, here you have it. All right. And um, you can decide to um, explore more. So let's undo that. We can decide to uh, take another option. Select once it is done, select this, hold shift, then you select the part. Then um, you can decide to choose um, the top right. Then you click on apply. And this is how it's going to look like. Right. So, and. Um, it's not just only on circles, so you can decide to choose whatever part you intend to use. So um, this is the object you want to fit into this part. You select this, hold on shift, then you click on this, head on to the um, menu bar, then you select object. So once you select um, fit object to part, it's already ticked, so that is why we have it here. right? So in case you don't have it, this is how to bring this up. So right. Alright, so the duplicate here, we can decide to have seven. Then... Um, Instead of the top right, it's going to be at the middle. Then um, click on apply, and here we have it. And then we can decide to put it into wherever area you want. So this might be important, maybe when you're designing a logo or working on a certain project. So this might come in very handy. All right. So how about we go into something very more complex? So um, let's have this. So we want to make um this object here to um fit into this part to have a circular feel right so um how do we go about it? it's very much simple same as the other processes that we that i showed you right so um once this is um selected then um you hold on shift and you select the part right then you know the normal process objects then um fit object to part so it's already selected then um we want a total of eight right so our duplicate is going to be seven and um seven here so we're going to have a total of eight then um, every other thing should be left the way it is. Origin should be at the middle. Then um, the style, I will go to none. Then I click on apply. And then here I have it. So I can decide to add some colors to it. And um, so this might be applicable when you're working on logos or whatever um, you're working on in CorelDRAW. This will come in very, very handy. So rather than the um, normal way of trying to fit objects into parts manually so this um, method is very much simple and very fast and um, very much time saving so guys um that is it on this video on how to fit an object into a part in coral draw it's very much simple and very very easy to do all right guys um if you found this video helpful do want to hit on that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos and don't forget to like, share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.